Hi, I'm Jack with jackandamydev.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to add a content script to your Chrome extension. A content script is a simple way to add some of your own JavaScript or CSS to a web page in your own browser. Inside of your Chrome extension folder, we're going to create a manifest.json file. And inside of our manifest.json, we need to add the basic requirements for a Chrome extension. So here's our manifest.json file. We have all the basic fields that are required for a Chrome extension, and we'll cover these in a later video. But right now, we're going to jump in and create our content script field. Content scripts is an array of objects. So you can have lots of content scripts, but each one has to have a matches pattern. This matches pattern is an array of strings that will match the URLs that your content script should be injected into. For this Chrome extension, we want to add this content script to every page that we navigate to. You might see on the internet that you can use all URLs. However, the Chrome Web Store has started rejecting Chrome extensions that use all URLs because it matches too many different types of URLs. It matches FTP, it matches WebSocket, and it matches the file scheme, and we just don't need all of these. So let's be specific when we set up our match patterns. All we need to match is HTTP, and we'll use a wildcard for every domain and any page in that domain, and also HTTPS. So now we need to tell Chrome what file to execute on the pages that match these, file, these match patterns. So we'll use JS which is also an array of file paths. It's important that these paths start with the folder name or the file name that you're going to execute. So content, and you can name these anything you want, but we'll just do that for now. Don't start them with a dot, slash, or just a slash, because once again, the Chrome Web Store is rejecting Chrome extensions that have these, file, these types of file paths with a dot or a dot slash in the manifest. In the manifest, you want to start your file path with just a letter. So we've got our content script.js file path. Let's create the file and put a console log in it. Content script.js, console log, we'll just log the file name. And now we can go over to Chrome and check it out. So here in Chrome, let's go to the Chrome extension dashboard. You get there by doing Chrome colon slash slash extensions. So we'll open up the extensions dashboard and make sure the developer mode switch is switched on. So when it's switched on, you can see these buttons here and we want load unpacked. So navigate to the folder that has your manifest JSON file in it. Here's mine, clock on top, click open, and you can see here's my Chrome extension right here. Now that we've got it up, we've loaded into Chrome, let's open up a page and see that it's being injected. So if we open up the developer dashboard and check the console, we can see here content script.js. Content scripts are really powerful, in part because you have access to the Chrome API. If I type in out there, but in the console, if I type in chrome.runtime.getManifest and hit enter, I should get the manifest, except I get an error. And that's because I'm running in the top JavaScript context. This is just the google.com page context. But we want to run our command on the clock on top extension context. If I run this again, chrome runtime.getManifest, I can see that we get our manifest here. So let's go back over to our content script and do something a little more interesting. So one of the interesting things that you can do with a content script is you can modify the DOM. So while every content script has its own JavaScript 
context that it executes in, it shares the DOM between all the other Chrome extensions and even the main page. So if I ac access the DOM and create an element like, since we're creating a clock, we'll call it clock, document.createElement, make a div, and we'll append it to the document body. And quickly, we'll just add some uh, some styles so that it's easier to see. And we'll add some inner text. So something you're going to find yourself doing a lot when you're working with Chrome extensions is you have to reload. And then you have to reload your page where the content script is being injected. So here it is. And there's our div. So let's go back to VS Code and actually make it a clock. I'm just going to copy paste some code in and explain to you how it's what it's going to do. So we've got our clock element here. We've added a class to it, which we'll use in a little bit later. And then we've set up an interval that runs this update clock function. Update clock just creates a hours and minutes string and then updates the inner text property of the clock element here. A uh, quick tip, we don't want to update the DOM unless needed. Updating the DOM is expensive, and if you do too much of it, it'll make the user's user experience slow and laggy. So don't create Chrome extensions that slow down the user's computer. So here, we're just going to check every second if the inner text matches the time that we create with this from the date that we create up here. And if it does not match, we're going to update the element here. We run the update clock function once to update the element, get everything set up, and then we append the clock div to the body. So let's go over to Chrome and check it out. All right, so we have to reload our extension, reload, and reload the page, reload. OK, and there it is. It's up there in the corner, and it's really small. So let's add some CSS. And we can inject CSS directly through the manifest using the CSS array. It's a, an array of paths, just like the JS array. And we'll create a style sheet here. And I'll paste in some CSS. OK, so we're going to put it down in the bottom right corner. We're going to give it a, make it the, use the Roboto font. We've set the size and a couple other things. And let's go check it out. So reload your extension, get your new code, and then reload the page. And down here, you can see that the CSS is styling our clock element. Let's wait a second and see it update to the next minute. And there we are. So in this video, we created a Chrome extension with a content script that injects a JavaScript file and a CSS file into every page that you visit on the HTTP and HTTPS schemes. In the next video, we're going to show you how to add some performance enhancements and also how to give your users the option of choosing what pages the clock should be added to. That's it for this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.